Today's video is all about Azami. We're gonna take a look at the best Azami setups and spots on Oregon. This is the second episode in the series. The first one is down in the description. Now make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And without me talking anymore, let's dive in and get started. Once again, it's the Dangleberries here teaming up with Elevate to bring you some of the best setups here on Oregon, starting off with the top floor dorms bombsite. Now this first barrier, if you look at the sign and you see the T in truth and you look at the floor and make a hole in it, you can place a barrier on the underside of the floor below. Now this will create a small barrier, which is obviously not useful, but if you go around and place a second one on the left middle of the barrier, you'll create a barrier for protection against that trophy door in front of you. Now, normally you'd have a deployable shield here, but this is a great one to have as a backup if you don't have a shield. Now, this is such a good one. If you team it up with a second barrier above the door, as you can see on screen in a second, and this will allow you to get a really strong controlled angle onto trophy as the attackers are pushing into that room. You can see here, you can almost have like a pixel angle onto them as they make their way into trophy and you can pick them off and take control of the round. You'll be able to see it here from the enemy's perspective that they can barely see anything when they're out here. So you have a really strong power position against the attackers. Now you can add a third barrier for a teammate to use on the cabinet just outside the door of attic. And again, this provides a really strong power angle for any attackers coming into trophy. They will not be able to see you here and you can help your team get some picks in the round. Now again, you'll be able to see here from the enemy's perspective that they can't see you as they're coming in. They'd have to break that barrier. By that time, they'd already have been picked off. Now this next one is for inside of attic. This is a really strong barrier to use to really get control of anyone trying to push off that ramp down into lower attic. If you place a keeper barrier on the side of that electrical box, you'll have some really good feet angles as they drop off of that step. You can sit inside in kids room and lay on the floor and pick them off as they drop off that ramp and they will never be able to see you due to the position of the barrier. Now this next one is for the top of white staircase. Normally a lot of people will put it on that wall right there just above the staircase and I feel like that's not a strong one because you can get picked off and hit really easily. Now what you can do is place it on the electrical box again on the top of the stairs and it leaves a small pixel angle onto that bottom staircase. Now normally if an attacker is pushing towards that bottom wide they'll swing out and they won't see that little pixel angle and you can get some early shots on them before they even see you first. Now this next one is like a bonus barrier that you can use inside of the kids dorms. You can place a keeper barrier on the leg of the bunk bed and you can vault up inside the bunk bed. Now you can sit behind the bomb chassis which gives you a lot of protection from anyone trying to get some shots off. You can make a hole in the wall so you can see a big window as well. So this is a really strong position and a good hiding spot as well especially if anyone pushes through attic coming through the rotate and you can catch them off guard. And moving down into the laundry room for this next setup for that basement site. Now what you can do here is if you place a keeper barrier on that small little strip of wood on the table, right right pinpointed on screen, you can place a barrier and it gives you a really strong control position here for any attackers pushing down that main stairs. It creates those little pixel angles under the barrier and you can team this up by breaking a small hole in the side of the table for a small pixel angle onto that door. So you can team this up by moving back and forth between the barrier, either proning back over towards the barrier and jumping up, and you have a really good strong position to pick off attackers pushing the site. Now this next one, normally you would have head holes on this wall. This is just a barrier to protect against anyone coming down that freezer stairs if you're holding this barrier in front of you on the table, and you can peek up and pick them off as they make their way down the stairs. Now, I also like to add a third barrier onto the side of the door here to cover anyone who's trying to push down into pillar. And you can sit behind this barrier using the one to your left as protection and moving across to the one on your right. So you have a really good, strong power position for this laundry site.
Now this next one is for this back stairs as attackers are making their way down. If you place a barrier on this wooden beam just above the staircase, this gives you some really strong cover if you're sitting on a pillar playing through the construction wall. Now what you can see here is if you come down and you're standing looking up at this, they won't be able to see you at all from the position that I'm standing in. And I'll show you an example of this where my bullets are hitting. You can see probably waist level at that point. Whereas when they're up at the staircase looking down towards there, you'll see where I'm shooting the bullets. They will only be able to shoot up to that point on the pillar. Whereas I can sit further back and pick them off as they make their way down the stairs. Now, of course, with you being in that position, there's a risk of you being shot from blue construction. And normally you'd have head holes here. So you can place a barrier on the bottom of the wall, again, providing you with some extra cover and protection from any attackers pushing from that location. I'm going to show you just a couple of other barriers that you can use for that kitchen dining bomb site. The first of which is for that rotate. And if anyone gets that back small tower wall open, you can see here if the wall was open, you can place a Kiba barrier on this small half wall here. And if you're sitting on the rotate into showers, you can use this as cover and you can swing out and pick anyone off pushing the breach in the wall. Now you can have another barrier for a teammate over on the dining table by putting one on this chair here, just a small bit up from the ground. Again, you can have someone sitting here using this for cover and you can work off of your teammate to pick off any attackers in small tower. Now, if you have teammates holding inside kitchen on this single wall, you can place a barrier on the bottom of the wall. Again, just giving you some protection for any bullets coming through the soft wall on the bottom. Now you can add on to this barrier here outside on the chair. If you place a barrier exactly where I pinpointed on the bottom of the table at the very top corner, you can create a pixel angle into the small tower. Now this is a really strong little angle and actually for the attackers, they won't be able to see anything from inside small tower. And I'll show you an example here of where these bullets are hitting on the wall, right up against that back wall inside small tower. And when I go outside here, you'll see from the attacker's perspective that they can't even see you sitting in behind those barriers. Now, there is the risk if you're sitting behind these barriers that someone can come from the white stairs or dining hall and pick you off through the doorway. If you're sitting up on the table using this barrier as protection, well, you can place a barrier on the top of the door which will give you a protection of them coming down that hallway and they will not be able to see you once again if i'll show you from the enemy's perspective that they will not be able to see anything of you sitting up on top of this table so that's it for the video today guys like i said make sure to drop down into the comment section let us know what the next map you'd like to see in this series and i really do hope you enjoyed the video go down and let us know what your thoughts are on all the videos we've been posting recently now if you haven't got your hands on the elevate bundles make sure to go over to the or6 shop and check them out the most recent one the maverick one is fire you definitely want to get that now if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video and i'll talk to you in the next one